thanks to our colleagues from aviation on me 8 where did you live there in kiev we did yes i lived in kiev i i worked on the ukrainian television and uh, i was a special correspondent in chernobyl when you filled the re film the reactor what was your first thought i felt that the world was divided to black and white because when i saw this i realized that our life uh, has ended the calm life the happy peaceful life has ended and then the more i started this problem the clearer it became that things will never be the same but if we make all entities safe and by the way, uh, there is no other way to use other safe sources of energy, gravitons and so on, and nano parts. We need to produce high energy today. And these high energies can only be produced uh, by NPPs and environmentally they are the cleanest but you just have to make sure that it's safe uh, you can't stop the progress of technologies when you saw the accident and the reactor uh, you feel the urge to tell your family uh, or you were just concentrated on your work. Actually, uh, my daughter was born in 1986 and I was a uh, happy dad at the time. But Kiev residents launched evacuation of their children themselves in a centralized fashion uh, only schools were evacuated i sent my family out uh, in early june until then they stayed in in kiev and On the first days, uh, they didn't change. Uh, we didn't change uh, uh, before entering the zone into overalls. And my trousers and my shoes were taken away. And I, so I, I had to travel home without trousers. Just to add regarding relatives. When I told you we had one day off and you could visit uh, the town. So I, I went to the post office and I phoned my mother I greeted her and she starts telling me about 10 minutes about what happened in Chernobyl. And she says, people are leaving and so on. And they say, Mommy, I'm not far from here. And she says, why, are you there? Yes, I am. Then a pause. Well, someone has to do it. That was my dialogue with mommy. 
And uh, I was actually based, located in near Viborg. She couldn't know that I'd be so close to Kiev. And I've kept this souvenir, for Lera knows, it's a sensor. They would give us standard ones, the small ones, and they didn't really work properly. But uh, they would give six for each crew member. Then you look at it, through, and there's a scale. One would show zero, then 20, then five. But these ED11, they were quite accurate. But uh, we received these a couple of days before our departure. There's a cap here that you can remove and you insert it into a special device and it shows in in RAMs and you had to convert it into uh, Rengans. I think I will donate it to Chernobyl Museum. Now, I don't know what it shows because after Chernobyl, I never used it, in, especially in military units. It's probably broken by now, but these are the devices we used. <laughs> 